Hi, and welcome to Ember in Action series, episode 9, Client-Side Form Validation. In this episode, we'll implement simple client-side form validation from scratch, so here is our plan. We're gonna fix new book route to use Ember data instead of a plain JavaScript object that we use now. Then we'll validate book's title, and we import validator npm package into our Ember application, and we'll use it to run our validations. So, let's get started. First of all, let's use Ember data in all routes. If we go to books new.js route, you can see here that I just returned simple JavaScript object. That made sense for us then, but now it's better to use Ember data everywhere, or that will give us some pain in the future. So instead of this line here, let's return this.store.create record. So we just create book record in our store. But now, if we go to browser and we look into our books and we click on add new book, you can see that right away we have an empty field here and it is bound to the title here. So maybe that's not what I want to see. Good news, it's very easy to fix. We need to go to books list .hbs file and here we need to add another if condition. So we'll use unless book is new, then we have this link to this book and let's close it. So this way, if book is not saved, is not synced with server, it is considered as new and it will not appear in books list. So let's have a look. Now, as you can see, we are on a new book and we do not have this empty thing here. Excellent. But now, if we try to create new book, we'll have an error. And you can see here, it does not implement Ember copyable. Let's have a look. So we go to routesbooks.js and let's scroll down to create book right here. And you can see that here we create record, but record is already created. All we need to do is to save it. So we can remove all of this and just to use book.save. Let's go back to browser and let's try to create new book again. Okay, now we're working. Nice. So let's start working on validations. So first, we're going to define errors on our component. We have the book form component, and inside of it we'll have errors. So let's define it right here, some kind of errors. And we're going to use data store errors object, and let's create one like this. So for that, of course, we need to import ds from Ember data. I need to tell something. There are several ways to approach validation. One way is to validate model itself. Another, validate form. So in this following episodes, we'll validate form. So that's why we place errors in the component itself. So now we have these errors. We need to validate form. And we'll do it in the submit. When we click on submit, first, we want to validate. So we run if this validate, and this validation will return true or false, then if it returns true, we send action for saving. So now we need to define this validate. So let's define validate function. And inside of this function, first, we want to reset our errors. So we do this set errors to be again ds errors dot create. Next, we need to implement our validation. So we do it something like this. If this get book title to equal empty string. Then this get errors dot add. So this add method is the method of the ds errors. So we can add errors, we specify the field of the error, in our case that's gonna be title, and then the message, in our case that's gonna be can't be empty. And in the end, we need to return true or false from our validation. So we return this get errors is empty. Again, this property is provided to us by DS errors. So now if you go back to browser and let's try to create new book without any title, we still can do that. Okay, that means that we need to add another clause here, this get book title to equal undefined. Let's try it again. Let's try to create new book without new title. And now we can't proceed. Excellent, our validation works, but we do not see any validation messages. So let's open 
book form HBS file and inside of here we'll add some classes so first of all we'll have class has error and we have this class if errors title is not empty if we go back to browser and try to submit this page you see that our styling has been changed great so now we need inline error message let's do this so right here we define each errors title as error and if it's empty just will be ignored and let's close it and inside of it we'll define span dot help block and inside of this help block we just render error dot message so now if we go back to browser and let's try to add a book you can see it can't be empty nice we have client side validation okay it works so let's go back to our component and you can see that we have very simple validate methods and here we do everything manually. So let's say now that we want to validate that this title is an invalid email format. I know it doesn't make any sense, but let's imagine that we need something like that for example's sake. Well, we need now to check against regex of email and that sounds like a lot of work. Why would we do that if Node has excellent package validator? So let's just use it in our Ember application. Easy, right? Well, not quite. We need to install Ember Browserify to be able to import any npm package. So let's do this. So we go to terminal and we run npm install save dev Ember Browserify. Okay, done. Now let's install with just simple save validator. Okay, now we're ready. So with these things installed, we can import validator into our component. So here at the top, we're gonna import validator from npm colon validator. So now we have this class validator that we can use in our validation logic. So instead of using all of this stuff here, we can do validator is null, and then the value, so this get book.title. And let's our email thing. So if validator that is email, these get book.title. So we need to add not email. So then these get errors add title and the message not valid email. Let's have a look. So now if we go to add new book and try to add one, you can see that it can be empty and it's not valid email. So if we do something and try it again, not valid email. And of course, if we specify valid email, then we'll have some weird book. Okay, so it works. And this way we can use validator with all its validations right inside our Ember application. So let's remove this nonsense. Instead of it, we'll have validator is null for book author as well. And here we'll have author. And again, it can't be empty. So now go back to our form book template and let's add class and errors message like this. So we did absolutely the same, just used author instead of title. So let's have a look. So now if you try to submit this form, we'll have can't be empty validation errors. So excellent. Now we have very simple client side validations and we learned how to use DS error class and how to import validate npm package into our Ember application. In the next episode, we'll see how to add server-side validation to the mix. So if you like this episode, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends, or follow me on Twitter. If you want to ask any question or simply say hello, go to my blog, ramzalothy.net. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.